Hi everyone, my name is Abel Greek and Toma. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. This is my WhatsApp contact. You can reach me on this number or call me on any of these numbers, okay? Uh, today I just want to tell you briefly about this great package called the Pile Soft. Pile Soft is a very great package that is dedicated for Protoss Structure users. You'll agree with me that if you are using Protoss Structure, there is some level of complication when you want to design a pile foundation okay uh so pile soft is here to make your pile foundation design way more easier and also faster as well so what pile soft does for you is to give you some recommendation of uh, some of the uh like the penetration of what penetration you should use you can see this tells you that uh, you should use within the range of 75 either 75 or 100 okay the height of the penetration of the pile into the pile cap can either be 75 or 100 this is basically a recommendation that is giving you now the pile diameter you will have to type in the pile diameter now most of this information comes from your soil reports you agree with me so you type in the pile diameter what is the pile diameter of that pile and how the how what is the depth that um, the pile is actually going you have to get your pile length from the geotechnical report you can see this is basically telling you where to get this information from so this information is actually gotten from your reports as well so you can see pile diameter of 300 350 450 600 are commonly used for building but can get your pile diameter from geotechnical report so you can see this is actually basically telling you um the diameter of your pile that is most likely going to be used for building so these are the most common pile diameter that you use for buildings okay now you have 300 350 450 600 so it goes a long way to give you to guide you okay uh, basically that is what it does like you know the most common uh, pile uh, shape is usually the cross section is usually a circular cross section um, but then there are cases where you may have a square type of uh, pile which is not very common but like you know the pile uh, uh, what they call it cross section is basically most of the time uh, usually circular in nature and then the pile cap direction um, as you can see here it gives you a preview of um, how the cross section uh, tend to actually look like this is what we call the pile cap okay the one that comes on top of the pile itself is the pile cap uh, before you can then have a column resting on it you can see this is showing you a diagram of a column resting on top of a pile cap and then you have several piles on this now we have 10 piles on this uh, based on uh, the preview this is just an image to show you um basically how a pile cross section looks like okay um so let me maximize this so you can see for yourself you can specify the cross section you can specify how far you want um your pile should actually go okay it's very important um you must make sure that your you can see microsoft has blocked macros from running because the source of the file is untrusted um most of the time it's important you do some basic settings there are some settings that you will have to do when you come to your microsoft uh, excel uh, sometimes it blocks some uh, softwares from running on your system can see disable all macros with notification enable all macros not recommended potential so i trust so i can click on okay okay so this um can help me to actually work on what i am doing um it's very important you put those settings in place um i will tell you from experience that um these settings when you also come to trust center they are basically in the same place you can see protected view this is also very important that you uncheck some of this uh, because it will alert you 
that um, the file you are trying to access has contains a virus or cannot be trusted something like that so when you have an alert like that uh, you should know that from that settings you need to actually put that in place all right so uh, save working load um, this is basically also this is gotten from you can get some of these informations are gotten from the uh, what do you call it directly from the protest structure itself uh, I'm going to be creating another video to illustrate practically how to uh, make use of your piles of uh, mainly but if you already have a proper experience with your uh, protest structure I believe you should understand how to make good use of this the column load is actually uh, you can get this value from the protest structure itself okay so you can know the uh, the load you want to use on uh, the because basically your pile is based on the loading from the column itself okay so uh, the pile cap direction safe working loads these are informations you will actually pick from the protest structure itself now you can see the grade of your concrete you can specify what grade of concrete you want to use um, similarly for your steel you specify the steel con uh, grade you want to use uh, the reinforcement bar you can specify the reinforcement bar and then you can design the data you can see this is macros cannot be available in this world almost uh, disabled can not run the macro parts of the, the macros may not be available in this world group or all macro may be disabled so um this is from my uh macros uh settings uh like i said um so you may be having if your settings are not put in order you will most likely be encountering the same issue but it's not a problem uh this can be sorted out from your settings So, uh, sorry, I'm supposed to disable all macros without notification. Disable all macros with notification. Uh, sorry, I'm supposed to disable my macros rather than enabling it. So, once I disable all macros, um, that should uh, work. So, I will just, uh, let me use this one and I'll click on OK. So, before that, if we come back here, I tried to change the column load here. And let's say this is uh, 3,350 uh, for example you can see this is giving me one pile one pile and then this is um, yeah you can see the cross section as you change any of the information here this is actually changing um, if I change this to 450 for example you can see it has provided two piles uh, one column on two piles okay and then the depth you can see the depth is at uh, 30 meters which i just changed so uh let's say this depth is going at uh 20 meters for example and I press enter okay so um all of these values the moment you change any of this information um it will update here automatically so this is what the uh, pile sub does for you it makes your work way more easier and way more faster to uh, actually um, achieve so as you do this automatically is updating here so this basically will give you an update you can as well design the data and generate uh, the report so make sure that your Microsoft Excel is actually um, fixed properly you can see mine is showing security risks microsoft has blocked macros from running because the source of the file is untrusted okay so um you will have to uh turn off those your macros uh in order for it to work properly okay um if you love what you are seeing make sure that you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually 100 percent free Click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever I post videos, I post videos like this on a weekly, sometimes on a daily, just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design, okay? Uh, make sure you follow and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.